Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Uh, this is going to be for the zodiac sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for uh, the end of August going into September. Um, so uh, we are going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you are, that you are connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you, what their over energies are like, and then we'll see what the uh, outcome and advice are. Before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new content that I post onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that needs to hear this message. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. For those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started. All right, over energies for Taurus regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the um, end of August going into September, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Taurus here. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Energy. All right, we have Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. So you could have that in your chart. Could be dealing with someone that has that in their chart. We have a Hangman, Piscean, Energy. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Fool, Aries, Energy, Aquarius, Energy here. We have the Hermit, Virgo, Energy. And the Six of Swords. I'm feeling like someone here is trying to manifest a person back, probably trying to manifest new love here. Um, I mean, whoever this person is, um, could be you, could be someone, the other person that you're dealing with. I feel like they're on this like major spiritual journey here. I mean, there's this energy of finding peace, balance here, seeking enlightenment, um, seeking, you know, uh, introspecting, self-reflecting here. I mean, we have the star on the top of the deck here. We have someone that is working on themselves very, very, very hard. Uh, this person could be going through some spiritual healing too. Some personal healing. I feel like this person is manifesting someone new, could be manifesting a past person here and wanting to take a leap into giving a relationship a shot here or giving you love a shot or a past relationship why is temperance here temperance and the page of swords so gemini libra aquarius energy i feel like someone here is watching someone change watching someone personally grow, spiritually grow, and that is very attractive towards someone. I feel like someone here wants a piece of that, or someone here wants to, um, you know, go along the spiritual journey with uh, uh, someone. Why is this hangman here? The hangman and the two of swords. So someone here is trying to seek some sort of clarity here by turning to spirituality. Why is this uh, Ten of Pentacles here? The Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers. So we have someone here that wants to dive into a relationship here with someone. Because someone here is finding someone very attractive while they go on this journey here. 
Why is this fool here? I feel like someone here is finding your journey here inspiring and they want to be a part of that too. We have the Six of Pentacles here. Tell me about this Hermit. The Hermit and the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Six of Swords and the Star. Aquarius energy. We have the King of Pentacles right here. So there you are, Taurus. So there is this energy of being on a spiritual journey. And I feel like someone here is watching you, uh, uh, Taurus. And I feel like someone here is inspired. Someone here is wanting a part of that. Someone here is finding attractive because of that. So this looks really, really, really good, Taurus. This looks really, really, really good. All right. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with here. All right, tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Taurus? For the end of August going into September, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs here for Taurus. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus? star aquarius energy so the star is showing up again here we have the page of wands we have the judgment card so we have someone taurus that might be younger than you that is trying to resurrect this relationship with you they're they're wanting a reconciliation they're wanting a second chance uh we have the five of swords here we have the king of cups this could be a same-sex relationship. Doesn't have to be, but it's just the energy coming up. We have the Five of Cups. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, someone here is finding you very, very attractive. Someone here is realizing that you're the one. They're realizing that, you know, you're inspiring. Um because of this whole spiritual growth and personal growth that you're going through. Uh, it seems like this person is not really communicating with you. Uh, if anything, they're doing a lot of spying. They're watching you. They're watching your social media or, or they're talking to your mutual friends about you. Uh, why is this page of wands here? I mean, someone here is looking at themselves now because of them watching you. You know, they're looking at themselves to see what they have, what they, what they need to work on. Why is this a uh, page of wands here? Page of wands and the 10 of pentacles. So we have someone here that is wanting a second chance. Someone here wants commitment. Someone here wants marriage. Why is this uh, judgment here? We have temperance. So we have someone here that's coming in to perhaps reconcile, uh, perhaps looking for forgiveness here. Uh, there could be this energy of maybe you went on the spiritual journey on your own and this person didn't want to join you and now this person wants to join you. Why is this Five of Swords here? Five of Swords and a Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Why is this King of Cups here? King of Cups and the Four of Swords. So... We have someone here that is sort of doing a lot of watching here. I feel like someone here is thinking about things here, thinking about whether they should come forward or not, because I feel like this person is second guessing themselves. This person could be playing mind games with themselves, gaslighting themselves, like, you know, maybe I shouldn't approach this person because they're on a whole different vibration here. Uh, maybe this person will push me away. Uh, why is this Five of Cups here? Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. Someone here is taking stock, taking inventory here about the past. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here. No, the Knight of Cups. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um,
whatever you're doing here, I'm feeling like this person is definitely finding you more attractive in a way, uh, Taurus. I mean, this person is definitely trying to come back. So your past is coming back towards you because they're watching you. They're watching you and they're seeing you just super attractive. Seeing you as someone that's very inspiring. Seeing this like major growth and major change. It's sort of like, like they're like, I, 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 I want to know what Taurus is doing. I want to do that now. Outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding their love situation for the uh, end of August going into September. What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect regarding their love situation? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. This could be a soulmate connection. So it seems as though you have a soulmate here that could have gone on a spiritual journey with you, didn't, and now they want to. Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Sun, Leo Energy. Two of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. We have the Devil here, Capricorn Energy. We have the King of Cups showing up again. And the Four of Swords. I mean, we, are, we have someone here that wants to communicate with you. We have someone that wants to talk to you. Um, I feel as though this person is in a very negative space. I feel like this person's talking down to themselves where they feel like, like I said, I feel like this person feels like they're just not on the same wavelength and vibration as you now. And I, and I feel like this person feels like you're going to push them away. Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? I feel like you might, um, Taurus. Because you're just uh, on a, you're just way ahead uh, 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 regarding your, you know, spiritual journey, your healing, your personal growth. Why is the sun card? Because I feel like this person is still stuck as a little person, stuck uh, or, or just emotionally stunted. I mean, this person's coming up as a page. Why is the sun card here? The sun and the moon. Why is this Two of Wands here? The Two of Wands and the King of Wands. So I'm feeling like this King of Wands and this King of Cups is the same person here. Like I said, this could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. It could be a male and a female uh, that has uh, both uh, just uh, strong masculine energy. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Why is this Devil here? We have the Knight of Swords. So someone here is trying to ascend, transcend their 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 shadow side. Someone here wants to work on themselves. Someone here is looking to you, Taurus, to help them out. Why is this King of Cups here? King of Cups and the Ten of Wands. You see, this person's carrying a lot of weight. This person's carrying a lot of traumas, a lot of burden here. Why is this Four of Swords here? And the Empress. Taurus, Libra, Energy. I feel like someone here did... I feel like someone here regrets or is disappointed in themselves that they didn't go on the spiritual journey here with you. Because now this person is like finding you like, oh my God, what is going on with Taurus? Like, I want to know what's going on with Taurus here. I feel like, yeah, look, we have more communication here. So I feel like someone here is going through like a major, some major growth, major changes here. Uh, I feel like someone here is sort of having an awakening now. Sort of like if Taurus could do this, I could do this too. So I feel like someone here is trying to get unstuck because I feel like Taurus, maybe you were stuck with this person, you know? And I feel like Taurus, maybe you realized it yourself first, like you need to work on yourself. You wanted to, you know, put in the work and, you know, you were hoping this person would come with you, didn't come with you. Uh, you had this separation for a long time and this person is spying on you and they're realizing, wow, 
You know, I, I, I want to learn from that. You know, I want to learn from Taurus. Taurus is in, inspiring me to, to make these changes. Uh, uh, so, Taurus, if this resonated, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this. Um, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Ring the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.